Hey, Shalom Amaki and Shalom. First thing and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the whole elect. Uh, real quick, man, it says China sends 30 warplanes near Taiwan and largest training drill in months. Okay. Um, World War III drums are uh, beating. Okay. Taiwan is basically still Moabites. Okay. They're just pretty much down an island from China, but they're the same people. But see, the difference is with America, like the same thing that America is doing in the Ukraine or NATO, uh, what they're doing, they're setting up these governments or these puppet governments to do their bidding so they can get closer to the borders of China. Because basically the whole concept of America being allies to uh, Taiwan is basically to set up U.S. military bases to surround that, to surround that, uh, that border. Okay, same thing what they did. They wanted to set up the Ukrainians uh, to side with NATO, so therefore America could have forces on the troops of, on the borders of Russia. So that's what that's what this devil do. That's why the scriptures say he's a proud man. Need to keep it at home. But see, the Taiwanese are so stupid because they don't understand that once Esau fulfills his call of duty, he's gonna take you out too. Okay, no casualties. <laughs> I mean, no 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 uh, expendable, so to speak. Okay, so. Why they're threatening China saying, well, you come near Taiwan, X, Y, and Z, we're going to deal with you. But I don't think America wants to cross that threshold with China. Because for one thing, if you go to war with China, this society collapses overnight. Because everything is pretty much imported from China to America. Okay, because this is a consuming uh, corporation. They don't produce anything. And let alone the things they do produce, they don't export these things. And other nations, they don't really buy uh, American products because they know they're no good. They're cheap. Okay. There's no innovative, no creativity. It's, 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 it's just, it's bogus, so to speak. So what happens is, you know, the other nations, man, they deal outside of the American, they deal with the different currencies, the Euro, the Yuan, the Russian ruble, like these other nations, they're stacking themselves and putting themselves in position to rule, so to speak, because they know that eventually this place is going to be broken down. But see what they don't understand is that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to come. He's going to intervene. Okay. He's going to set up the kingdom. Ain't going to be no Chinese in power. Ain't going to be no, uh, uh, no Japanese in power, no Russians in power. No, 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 no. It's not going to happen, man. Okay. The most high is going to come and reign supreme over the planet earth by sending his son Yahweh Shai. So you can, you can, you know, you could convert Russian rules over into gold and silver. Okay. And precious metals, but it's not going to do any good. Because all that shit that you're harboring, we getting that back. We coming to collect. <laughs> Ain't nothing you gonna do about it. You know, in America, you're just gonna be destroyed, man. All right, so it says here, the Chinese military flew at least 30 warplanes into the skies off Southwest Taiwan in one of the largest Air Force exercises of the year, Taiwan's Defense Ministry said on Monday. It says 22, which Taiwan is actually still was part of China, still part of the uh, that, that republic, so to speak. They're the same people. Same thing like with the Ukrainians and the Russians. You know, it just, a lot of them sold out to Esau. So therefore you have infighting, you have divisions among them. But it says here, 22 fighter jets and eight support aircrafts of the People Liberation Army Air Force was involved in a training operation inside Taiwan's air defense identification zone, a self-declared buffer zone extending beyond the state's territorial airspace, okay? So what you're seeing now is the Lord is he's stirring up the beating drums, the war drums, okay? Because if you look at the, the, the history or you look at the current events as far as the Ukrainian war, you look at the BRICS nations, like you got Brazil, that's pretty much a line up with fucking Russia, okay? Talking shit about America, which is unheard of, which shows you that, hey, the Most High is setting up this beast or the ten horns to hate the whore, the beast to hate, said the beast should hate the whore, okay? Which the beast is NATO, man, NATO and the EU, all right, and the whore is America. So out of all these particular drills, hey, they're, it, it's a lot of infighting within the NATO and the EU, man. They're not knit together as everybody think because you got Turkey, which Turkey is pretty much going rogue. Turkey is pretty much a part of Russia, okay? Though they're still, con they're still contemporaries of NATO on paper, but after that coup that took place in 2015, I think it was 2014, like 2015, 2016, if I'm not mistaken, uh, they pretty much said the hell with NATO. Uh, the hell with this place, man. We're we going to do our own thing. We see future inside with nations that's actually putting up reserves to rule later, man. But they don't understand that they're not going to rule. 
That's why the scriptures say, why do the heathen rage and imagine a vain thing? Okay, but it says Monday's exercise was the biggest show of force by China's air forces since Taiwan detected 39 PLA aircrafts in Addis on January the 23rd. It says the latest incursion activity, Taipei, began disclosing in September 2020, brings the total of, it says brings the total for the year to 468 sorties, according to the statistics compiled by Washington based on the defense analyst Drew, um, Drew Brown. All right, um, let me look up that sorties, see what that means. It says, okay, a brief excursion of one military unit from a strong point. Okay, it says the sortie is a deployment or dispatch of one military unit, be an aircraft, ship, or troops from a strong point. The term originated with siege and welfare. Oh, okay, kind, kind. And it says Taiwan's the Taiwan's defense military, which published illustrated flight paths as part of its now near daily reports, said to dispatch interceptors, issues radio warnings, and ready surface to air missiles to track the PLA aircrafts. But Monday's report also included what is believed to be the first appearance of two of the Russian uh oh made SU-35 jets operating by the Chinese Air Force. You see that? You see, they're, they're basically coming into alliance with Russia, man. Okay, and that's why America's so teed off. Like, okay, you go fuck with Taiwan, we gonna fuck with you, but you fuck with China, Russia gonna fuck with you type shit. So America is in this, is, they're basically in a stalemate. Okay, you got Esau over here in the West. Like, okay, how can we neutralize these people without waking up Russia? See, the whole thing is to get around Russia. This is the reason why they try to set up the Nazi Ukrainians to harbor the borders, okay? They need to create a... Uh, 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 how can I say it? They need to create uh, discord among these other nations. So therefore, America could kind of come in through the back door and take shit because they don't want to head on conflict with Russia because they know that it's going to be the end of the society. They know that once that fight, they know that's going to be World War Three. And that's what Esau, he's trying to avoid it, but he's not going to avoid it because the Most High is going to push you into fighting that war. Okay, that's why everything is going down. That's why gas prices are going up. Uh, 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 you're sending 70, 80 billion to Ukraine in aid. You're trying to disarm the populace here. Shit is finna blow up, man. Okay, it says the Tyrese Air Force didn't return a request from comment regarding us S 35s before publication, but the ex military ratio enthusiasts who monitor the airspace around Taiwan for the regular incursions heard Taiwan's Air Force issue 18 radio challenges between 6 23 a.m. In 11:27 local time on May 30th. All right, um, I knew Biden was saying something in here. It was a particular comment that Biden made, but I think I may have overread it. Oh no, there it is. Here, yep, yep. It says uh, Beijing views them as legitimate response to increasingly close U.S. Taiwan ties. In reality, operations serve multiple purposes including practical training for his troops and wearing down Taiwan's defenses while also deterring intervention by the U.S. military. So, yeah, they spread it thin. Okay. Look at this. Uh, yeah. War drums are beaten, man. And all worlds lead to World War III, okay? So, this is the book of Isaiah 15. And one, it says, The burden of Moab, because in the night of our Moab is laid waste, and bought to silence because in the night of curve Moab is laid waste and bought to silence. Okay, it says he has gone up to Bajith and Diban and the high places to weep, and Moab shall howl over Nebo and over Mediba, and on their heads should be baldness and every beard cut off, and in their streets they should gird themselves with sackcloth, and on the top of the houses in their streets everyone shall howl, weeping abundantly, right? Because a hey, global anarchy is coming to Moab too. Okay, like you go to Shanghai right now. Hey, Shanghai, man, they're pretty much still on a lockdown, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, I don't know if they open back up slightly. I haven't seen it within a couple of weeks or so, but 25 million citizens locked down. One of the largest populaces on the planet completely locked down due to fabrication of the media. And I'll leave it at that. Okay, but nonetheless, a hey, World War Three, and hey, you more bites, you're getting ready to suffer too. Because you're just as proud as the damn devil, man. All right, because you're proud. Okay, you hate Jake. You extort Jake. OK, you, you've you've done nothing. You make face, you black face, you know, and the list goes on. 
So, hey, the Most High has an issue with you, too. So you're not going to be the next powers and rulers. You're not going to come up on, on, on a level and take the place of America, man. You know, like once America goes down, you won't have this big vacuum. All these nations are going to be fighting for control of the planet Earth. But you ain't anticipating how a shot coming. You see, because you you more bites, you're not going to rule. You Russians, you're not going to rule. You're Edomites. Your kingdom is going down. You're falling, too. All right. And it says here. Uh, uh, where am I at? Verse. Yep. Verses uh, Isaiah 16. And I'm going to start at verses six. It says we have heard the pride of Moab. He is very proud. Even of his haughtiness and his pride and his wrath, but his lies should not be so. Therefore, shall Moab howl for Moab, right? Because you got the Chinese, you got the Taiwanese, you got Malaysians, okay? Tibet is still a country in Asia. I mean, you got so many countries in Asia, okay? It's because you're Asian doesn't mean you're Chinese or anything like that. But nonetheless, man, it's still considered Asia. But these different so called Moabite countries, they're all fighting one another South Korea, North Korea. Taiwan, okay, uh, China, the mainland, it's, 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 it's crazy, Esau has caused the world to be divided, okay, even though you got Esau divided among Esau, okay, you got the Russians divided among Esau, you got the Chinese, okay, the Arabs are divided, everybody is pretty much divided now, and the scriptures say that was going to happen, but it says, therefore shall Moab howl for Moab, everyone shall howl, and the foundations of Kekoresh shall ye mourn. Surely they are stricken, right? And how is the Lord stricken you? He's going to stricken you through the famine, the pestilence, okay? And ultimately nuclear destruction. All right? Uh, okay. Please say, this is the book of uh, Isaiah 14. And I'm going to start at verses uh, 23. It says, and I will also make it a possession for the bitter and pools of water. And I will sweep it with the besom of destruction, says the Lord of hosts, man. Okay? Right. The destruction, World War Three. The wolf Armageddon. It says, The Lord of hosts shall have sworn, saying, Surely as I have thought, so should it come to pass. As I have purpose, so should it stand. And that I will break the Assyrian, which the Assyrian are your Edomites, in my land and upon my mountains, tread him on the foot. Then ye shall then shall his yoke depart from off them, and his burden depart from off their shoulders. Right. And what is it talking about? Our captivity, man. All right. And it says, and this is the purpose that purpose is upon the whole earth. And this is the hand that is stretched upon all, all the nations, man. OK, so how about Shimei Hawashai has determined you nations to go to war? OK, because the scripture that's that's in the scriptures, man. The Lord's determination is to gather the nations. Broom, a besom is like a broom, so to speak, like when you sweep something, a sweeping agent, when you watch the movie called The Knowing. And you saw how when uh, the meteor hit the earth and you pay attention, it looks like a straight, it looks like a nuclear explosion, man. Okay. The beast of destruction. And I will show a video footage of it, but Esau, like I said, he gets funny acting when it comes to putting clips because all of a sudden I get a lot of copyright strikes. All right. Uh, last precept here. This is the book of Zephaniah 3 and 8. Um, it says here, therefore, wait ye upon me, says Yahweh, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour out them my indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth should be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Okay, so that's common. All right, and with that, all praises and glory and honor that is due to you. How by Hashem, how will shine by Hashem, Rakat Vadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. And with that, Shalom and a Baba Ball.